Good morning everyone and welcome to Isla Culinaria by Island Pacific Supermarket. I am Chef Edgar Grajo and today we will explore the native cuisine of Sontor Luzon. It is known as the rice granary of the Philippines, earning itself the nickname Rice Bowl of the Philippines. Central Luzon is consists of the provinces of Aurora, Bataan, Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, Pampanga, Tarlac, and most of all, Zambales. Today, I will show you to prepare one of the most famous dishes in Pampanga, sizzling sisig. And now, here is the sisig. How are we going to prepare it my way? We're going to boil a pig's ear, pork lempio, <laughs> and the snout and the face meat. Then we're gonna put garlic, bay leaf, thyme, and rosemary. And then we're gonna put also black pepper. After we put the black pepper, we're gonna cover up the meat with water. Okay, just make it cover it up. Then we're gonna put the lid and then we're gonna start cooking and now after boiling the meat make sure you cook it al dente in order to preserve the the texture of the meat and then what we're gonna do next is grill it mmm yum yum so the reason why we grill it to get the smokiness of the flavor and get all the flavor of the meat than which you had some garlic onion and all the herbs and spices that is more makes it more even tastier now after browning the meat take out the meat from the grill all right once it's cooled down, take out the meat and then you start dicing it. All right, and so dice the rest of the meat and put it aside. Now, this is how it looks like when you dice the meat. This is the pork lempio. This is the face and then this is the ear including is dice, onion and of course chicken liver. We got olive oil, we got suka, we got ginger and we got ceiling labuyo. And now let's start cooking. And now you're gonna start cooking sizzling. First of all you put some olive oil around it not too much then we're gonna put half of the onion let it stay there until it wilted or translucent just keep it stirring okay here around maybe two to three minutes depending on your heat all right it's showing now that it's translucent and then what we're gonna next do is that we put the ginger to add the spice and flavor of the sisi and then we're gonna put the chicken liver the liver give it a more tastier seasoning And then, as you stir it, 
press the liver to make it a paste. And then mix it all up. First, I'm going to put the pig's ears. Give it a two, two minutes to warm up and incorporate all the liver, the ginger, and the onion. Next, we're going to put is the pork limpo. After incorporating, you put the face of the pig. Face, face meat or the snout. All right, we have it. And then you add the suka. Let it stay and reduce. You put some salt. And then fresh black peppercorn. Wait about one minute. After one minute, go ahead and stir it again. Then next, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put the red pepper and the onion. If you want hot food and spicy, you have to do this. But if not, don't put it in your sissy. And that will be spicy. Then, at the end, you put the green onion. Simmer it for another two to three minutes until it forms a crusty underneath the pan. And now we had the sizzling plate in which is getting hot and what we're gonna do is we're gonna flame it. After two minutes or so we put it on the flaming. Flaming. It will form a crust underneath of your sizzling. And then, for more exciting, put a brandy. And it will plain right to your eyes. Remember, get a towel, put it in your hand, or get a pot, hot pot handler. And now for the non-sizzling audience or cook, you can just put it in a plate without the sizzling. And this is your please drink. You had a vinegar, soy, and then of course the ceiling labuyu with suka. Then decorated with microgreen. And 
this is a black salt come from Asia just put it in and then finish it up with black fresh black pepper and now for your sizzling over here finish it up all low with black pepper and there's another kind of salt pink salt comes from Hawaii then you can finish it up with pink salt then get some and put some rosemary and if you want some more spiciness in your sisig just put the ceiling labuyo with ceiling labuyo it depending on your taste again I had the soy sauce and then I have the suka with ceiling labuyo you can add it to your taste because sisig is uh, a taste that has been acquired so you can trim it thank you for joining us today catch us again next week as we bring you another dish from central Luzon region again this is chef edgar graho and thank you for watching Isla, Isla culinaria by island pacific supermarket happy eating tarana at kumain tayo <music>